So hey there all you Opportunity Explorers, last time we left off I had shown you that the tariff on baby diapers was actually free from China. So I'm going to just show you how to use Alibaba using um, baby cloth diapers as an example. Now just to let you know, Alibaba is actually majority owned, uh, is it majority or minority now? I don't know. It's always a big controversy, but it's, it's um, partly owned by Yahoo. And they're always wondering if they should increase their ownership or not, because the other the other uh, part of it is owned by a Chinese fellow um, who started it in the first place. Um, so there's actually two options: Alibaba.com, which I find gives you more container loads of things, um, paying by wire transfer. But if you click on Alibaba Express, it'll bring you to this whole kind of separate mini site, which is a lot like eBay. So if you're comfortable with eBay, you'll be comfortable with this. And it has a lot more um, PayPal use, um, small little one-off things, like you don't have to buy 300 of something, you can buy one, you'll pay almost retail price for it, but you can buy one, two or three, maybe even five or something, so I, I, I can envision people maybe starting little cooperatives, um, maybe new moms or something can start a little diaper buying group so that you can buy the 500 diapers and split it up amongst yourselves or something like that and um, get the $2.50 a piece price. Anyway, on with the tutorial. So, Alibaba, the main site, has a lot of things on it. For example, hot products, if you just kind of want to browse. There is, you know, little featured items. There's a price watch which basically tells you what the average price is for kind of this scrolling list of things. For example, carrots, um, fishing lines, lobster. Um, there's a listing of trade shows from all over the world for different uh, industries. And then you can always just do your search up here for what you're looking for. And I, I think you should try to be as specific as possible because you would be surprised just how much stuff there is on this website. So then I type in what I'm looking for. And here it actually gives us uh, the capability to refine our search more. So we can actually search by category or supplier, where we want it to be sourced from, the United States, China, Canada. And then you can see just all the, it's a kind of like eBay, everything's kind of shown as a showroom with photos and a little bit of information, kind of a snapshot as it goes. Alright, so I found these Minky Baby cloth diapers and I've seen these a lot of places being resold locally. Um, you can see the designs, recognize them if you like. And basically you can look through all the pictures, see all the different designs and uh, models they've got available. You can zoom in on them, zoom out. View them independently, all together. And there's kind of a brief description of what you're getting there. There's also a contact form where you can actually contact the supplier directly if you have any questions. If you want to get your own pattern made, excuse me, sorry I was coming down with something there. Yeah, so basically you can contact them to maybe even design your own diaper and get it made. Now here it's showing you the price per piece, where it's going to be shipped from, the minimum order quantity, which is 50 pieces, and how you can pay. And you can see that PayPal was listed there. Here's the larger contact form. Um, this is where you can just really send questions again if you want something specifically made, if you need it by a certain time, anything like that, or if you have concerns about what it's made from, microfiber, this is kind of the description of what all the details are. Packaging, each diaper comes in its own plastic bag. So a lot of these suppliers will actually drop ship. Now they're telling you what the standard set does include the insert, 
you know, they're kind of showing you all the details of the inserts. Um, and this is on the main Alibaba site. So OEM and ODM, um, I always forget which one's which, but basically OEM um, means that they will put your label on it, and you can also pick your own colors, pick your own fabric, and, and design your own diaper, and they will manufacture it for you. Now, of course, that would be more expensive, but you can also um, check out the company's profile. You can add the product to your favorites, the company to your favorites. You can read more about the, the factory uh, or the reseller, the company, how many people work there. They are ISO certified, and they do design services, and uh, they will produce your design. They can design them for you, or they can just put a label on the ones they already have. Now you can actually click on their company and see more information on their own little Alibaba website. Here it'll actually show you the, some of the factory photos. The Chinese love showing that, um, showing you that it's not a sweatshop. Um, there are not all of them are, are poor work environments. Actually, um, China's come a long way in that regard. So you can also see on this website a lot of different things that they offer: baby leggings, diaper bags. Sometimes suppliers will put more on this little page than they actually post in listings. Just because listings expire and you have to keep posting them up all the time. Now here in their FAQ section, they do talk about the labels on the diapers. and They would charge you, except if you order a minimum of a thousand pieces or more, they will put your own label free of charge. And they also have this little four month guarantee here and they just recommend you wash the diapers under 30 degrees Celsius. So they um, are selling Alva baby diapers and um, well, back to my MFN here. So yeah, they're the, the, the duty for them is free. So yeah, so Alva baby when I look up Alva Baby Diapers and go to that website, it's actually a very nice website put here that you can actually buy directly. Now, the website we were just on is inside the Alibaba platform. The website we're on now is its own independent website with its own shopping cart. Keep in mind, when you buy through Alibaba, it's like eBay where it's it's through escrow, so you have kind of a... Um, a way to go back and get your money back. Um, if you bought on their website independently, you really don't have any third party helping you get your money back or or resolve any disputes. But now if you go through AliExpress, which I've just clicked on here and I'm doing the same search, here's where it does lower volume. You can search by free shipping. So the price I'm going to be getting now is including shipping to Canada. And I'm going to search for the lowest price. Now also Alibaba Express has the built-in um, resolution uh, an escrow service where the goods are shipped before the money is released and you have kind of a, a third party system there's the feedback ratings just like eBay so it's, it's very similar to eBay you have your pictures here you've got your listing your price per lot so sometimes things are listed in lots and I'll explain that next but here's your shipping it's free to Canada through um, kind of snail mail You've got your positive feedback, 100% positive feedback. You can view their store. Um, so the total price for a lot is 66.32, and there's 30 pieces per lot. Now, in this case, as you'll see as we go down here, the 30 pieces are actually the diaper shells. This seller doesn't include the insert as the set. It's just the diaper. So in here, you'll see with the the broken English, which you'll get adept at reading. Um, that they are selling the, the inserts separately. So for a complete diaper set, you can either find another seller or buy the two pieces. But for 30 pieces, um, so 30 shells for 66.32 to Canada, shipping included, works out to two dollars and thirty cents or something a piece. It's pretty inexpensive. So you can also view their store and see what else they're selling so that you could get more bang for your shipping buck. Now another website is TradeKey. I don't like it much. Some people use it. Um, keep in mind too if you're exporting or selling products you'll want to make sure you're listed on both these sites. But TradeKey you can put in the same thing. Um, you can search. And 
the thing about these guys is they really make you sign up to be able to see a lot of stuff, but Another one is eBay. A lot of people don't realize when they use eBay that they're importing, but you are. Um, unless you're buying from somewhere in Canada on eBay, um, you know, if it's if it's shipping from the U.S. or Australia, you are importing something. And you can find a lot of the same people who are, well, a lot of the same items, I should say, that are on Alibaba will be listed on eBay because this is what people use as an e-commerce distribution site. There's that distribution again if you want to sell your items. So this person in Australia has obviously um, decided to source these minky diapers from our Alibaba website there um, from their Chinese supplier and they're charging thirty dollars Australian for the ten diapers plus the ten inserts so they are including the two together so that's three dollars and twenty cents for the two combined um, which is about the price that we get them off of um, Alibaba and they also are charging twenty five dollars Australian for shipping so this is going to end up being more expensive for you because if you remember the Alibaba price included shipping now also this individual would be ordering huge quantities if they're selling any decent number of these so they would be getting a bulk discount whereas you were getting the entry level price just for one lot of 30 diapers. So look what I found. Um, just wanted to show you kind of a walk through of buying something and I found a new invention, a uh, baby wet bag, cloth diaper, and insert. So now this seller is actually selling a little wet bag with a zipper to put the diaper inside with the insert. So, and um, here they're listing it as in European Environmental Protection Standard. Um, so if we go down and see the details here, it is free shipping of 50 minky print pattern wet bags, only 172.85. Hot sale, don't hesitate. Uh, convenient and washable. Uh, the size is, it holds up to 14 cloth diapers, oh, so it's not just one diaper per thing. Uh, see, I don't have kids, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, so it holds up to 14 diapers. Um, they now have over 100 patterns, so if you do a small order, they'll do random delivery. They will do PayPal. And they do free shipping by China Post Airmail, which actually is really fast. It's faster than um, receiving stuff from Canada, from coast to coast. And it takes them about 14 to 25 days to fill your order, though, so that's where you'll kind of be waiting. So if I go and pretend that I want to be buying this, so 50 pieces is one lot, and of course um, you have to buy at least one lot, so it's working out to about 350 a piece, which includes the bag, the cloth diaper, and the insert. So, yeah, so basically you do one free shipping to Canada, yes, 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 buy now. Airmail, yep, confirm. And then you just put in your email address here. That's not actually my email, but you would put all your details. this up for you guys when I and continue. So please review and place your order. So it's got your details there, what you're ordering, um, China Post airmail. You can put a little, if you wanted to pay a little extra to have the label put on it or something, you could have entered that before, you can put it here. So it would be $172 and you would probably put in your Alibaba account and just verify this code here that you're not a robot and then you would place order. Now it's going to ask me after I click that whether I want to pay with PayPal which would be linked to my Alibaba Express account or with um, credit card. So that's as easy as it is. So let me know if you buy anything and uh, let me know how you make out. Let's uh, share some interesting stuff with you.